Hey community, how's it going? This is Detroit coming to you from the bunker once again here, uh, coming to you from Rochelle Park, New Jersey with a long overdue episode of uh, Axis and Allies, The Garrison. Welcome back. It's been quite a while since I was last here uh, for you guys. Oh man, but what, what year it's been. i uh, tell you what, I've seen so much activity th this last year that it's just absolutely amazing. I'm absolutely blown away by the fact that so many of you in the community have been so busy producing uh, YouTube videos, uh, especially in regards to the YouTube wars and other uh, YouTubers who are just creating content uh, for us uh, out here to enjoy, which is absolutely fantastic. The only problem that I have is that I find it so hard to keep up with so much material that you guys, so much content that you guys are producing on a daily basis. It's very hard and to be honest, uh, I find it very difficult to keep up uh, with all of you. So what have I been up to? Well, as always, I've been up, uh, I lately I really have not been up to much uh, besides the fact that I've been raising my family and my career and whatnot. But I always uh, keep the pulse in the community and I'm always in touch with my friends uh, out there in the community who are very much involved, okay? So uh, for those of you who uh, may not be aware, uh, last year I participated in the 20, uh, uh, let me uh, back a little bit, I participated in the Atlanta event uh, hosted by my very good friend G.I. Joe in Marietta, in Marietta, Georgia. Okay, it was a, a great event. I, I had a blast. I was there with VK Cowboy, um, uh, Wart, uh, um, oh my God, I'm forgetting, a uh, Hambone and Sire Blood and G.I. Joe himself. I had a, a momentary lapse of memory there. It was so much fun. I, we actually, I actually recorded or created, uh, shot some uh, footage, some content that I created while I was there. So I, I'm going to see if I link a, 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 that video to this uh, particular episode of, uh, of the garrison. Uh, also, uh, later on that year, sometime in uh, September of uh, 2019, I participated at the 2019 bloodbath event uh, hosted by our very good friend, uh, Sire Blood. Okay. Absolutely fantastic event. We had, I think, something like f uh, four or five tables over 25 guys, I think, or something like that. My partner was uh, uh, Corporal24, and we had a blast. We actually placed uh, fourth in that event. I think, though, and I think my partner will probably probably agree with me that we could have placed a little bit higher, just that we didn't have our act straight. We made a couple of mistakes here and there that uh, ultimately led to our downfall and led us to placing fourth, but I think we could have placed better, okay? So what's uh, up uh, this coming uh, new year? Well... I plan to uh, 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 host my own event uh, starting uh, August, uh, uh, I believe it's 21st to the 23rd of August. It's going to be by invitation only. Unfortunately, I can't uh, have that many people here at the garrison. Uh, those who will be invited are going to be staying here at the garrison. Uh, this way, they don't have to uh, uh, pay for it. Uh, uh, a hotel or a motel or any uh, or, or, or a bed and breakfast or anything like that. So I'm looking forward to having my friends here. A uh, small group, maybe two tables at the tops here at the garrison. So that's something that I'm looking forward to. Uh, later on that year, I'm also planning to uh, this year. Actually, let me back backpedal again because uh, I also plan to attend uh, the uh, event that War Torn will be hosting in Toronto. And that's going to be scheduled for June. So, God willing, I will be able to participate uh, in War Torn's event this June. So, let's push forward again. After the uh, event here at the showdown at the garrison, I plan to also participate by going once again to this year's 2020 uh, bloodbath, which uh, will be held either in the OC, Orange County, or in, uh, in Marietta, Georgia. Yes, and the reason for that is because... As many of you already probably know in the community, Sire Blood has moved officially to Georgia. Yes. So he, you know, we, we are unsure yet whether his event will be held in the OC or in Georgia. And that's something that uh, we, that when I say we, I'm really talking about Sire Blood. That's something that he has yet to uh, come up with an answer for those of us who are planning to attend uh, his event this coming year. So he's got a lot on his plate and I don't uh, uh, Envy him at this moment in time. He's got a lot of things much to do and with very little little time. All right, so now um, The one thing I want to talk about 
uh, and uh, it's the heading of, of this video, and it's uh, uh, who are the who do I believe are the best performers of the bloodbath events? Okay, so far up to this moment in time, and I have a few names. Okay, now uh, let me just differentiate here uh, something. Okay, and uh, I'm not talking about who are the best players. Okay, because best players do not always win. Okay, I believe that the practical players are the ones who win. Okay, it's not a question of smarts, it's a question of who wins. So I have created a, have, I have created a personal list of those who I, who I believe are probably the best ranked uh, players of the bloodbath. Okay, and uh, now it's totally arbitrary, it's my own list. Okay, I, I didn't uh, do a mathematical equation here where I came up with some complicated, convoluted formula that uh, led me to <laughs> this mathematical uh, equation that this is, the, this is the ranking, the official bloodbath ranking. By the way, this is not something that is um, uh, 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 approved or sponsored or, uh, uh, by uh, uh, Sire Blood himself. This is just my own uh, ranking who I believe are the best players of the bloodbath. Okay, so let me, let me uh, start us... Uh, uh, Throwing out a couple of names here, who I think uh, the individuals may be or who they are. Okay, so gotta use glasses now. Unfortunately, my eyesight is not what it used to be a couple of years ago. I was 2020. Now I'm going blind. It's what happens when you are fast approaching your late 40s. Anyway, so before I mention the individuals who I think are the best players, I gotta mention a few names. Okay, and from the get go. Okay. Guys like the Mofo brothers, uh, Stephen and Dominic Gelso, okay, Leatherneck, Caesar's Goal, Wartorn. These are all excellent players. I played all of these guys. Actually, no, I haven't played the Mofo brothers personally, but uh, Leatherneck, Caesar's Goal, and Wartorn. I played. I've played all these. Uh, all these three players, and I tell you, they're tough competitors. They're very good players. They could knock anybody down any day of the week, so just to give you a heads up. And of course, um, the Mofo brothers, from they, they placed fourth uh, during the 2019 uh, bloodbath. I believe they placed fifth uh, during, uh, I'm sorry, during the in 2018 bloodbath, they placed fourth. Last year's 2019 bloodbath, they placed fifth, if I'm not mistaken. Could be, I could be wrong on that, but they're still very tough competitors, very good players. Now, I have to mention... Uh, that uh, a guy like Carl Seven, who has never been in the in the bloodbath, I've heard very good things from uh, Carl Seven. I have a feeling that if Carl Seven participated in the bloodbath, that he will do very well. So that's a name that I gotta throw in there because I I've heard very good things from from Carl Seven from uh, a few uh, members of the community. So this is kind of a, of a, an inkling that or uh, a recommendation or no a suggestion that Carl Seven should participate should participate. In one of the bloodbath events, just to see where he is, okay, currently at. All right, so uh, number fifth, I'm gonna. I've ranked five uh, rankings, okay, and I believe the fifth place, okay, belongs to a gentleman, okay, and I mean that in a good way. A gentleman, very well spoken, very uh, somebody who is very nice, somebody who has blown me away by not only his character, his demeanor but also by his ability to play the game, okay? And that is the one and only Hambone. Yes, David, okay? Hambone, uh, definitely a very formidable player, somebody that cannot be taken lightly, and uh, he definitely makes uh, my top five, uh, uh, what is it, in the ranking order of who I believe are the best ranked players in the BBR, okay? So, David... Congratulations, you have, uh, you are, in my, in my opinion, the fifth ranked player performance wise in the BBR, in the bloodbath. Okay, number four, rank number four. And here I have, uh, it's actually a tie. I've uh, chosen two individuals who I think are just very tough competitors, man. And every time I play these guys, they just keep on kicking my rear end. And uh, these two individuals are very well known in the community. They are they're both uh, YouTubers, okay? By the way, I should mention that Hambone also is a YouTuber. He's starting to produce excellent quality uh, content. Uh, you should check his channel out. Uh, but the 
uh, two individuals that I'm currently talking about are Corporal 24 and Sire Blood. These two gentlemen are very good competitors, fierce players. They're always coming up with uh, tactics and strategies that just, you know, if you fall asleep on them and you make a mistake, you give them, <laughs> you give them an inch and they'll take a foot, okay? So uh, it, it's just, you know, these guys are very good players. I have to say that um, last year during the 2019 uh, bloodbath, and I already mentioned it actually, uh, Corporal 24 was my, my, my partner, and I like to credit him for us placing fourth. If anything, uh, I kind of held them back a bit, I think. You know, if, if Corporal 24 would have, would have had a better uh, partner or ally, I think he may have placed better. And so that's just to give him a little bit of... Uh, 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 street cred uh, that he doesn't deserve. He already has, but just to uh, give him the credibility that that he well deserves. All right. So number three uh, spot or rank uh, I give to an individual that uh, unfortunately did not participate at the 2019 bloodbath. However, he did participate at the uh, 2018 bloodbath, and that's uh, to a, a another gentleman. Unfortunately, I didn't get to uh, really speak much to him. Uh, we just had a small talk, just hi and hello, and uh, just a very casual conversation. And that is uh, 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 a man by the name of Jason, uh, but he goes by the call sign of Argothair, okay? Argothair was actually, uh, he actually came in first place, and he uh, shared that title with my very good friend, VK Cowboy. So during the 2018 uh, uh, bloodbath. Uh, Argo there and VK Cowboy both placed uh, in first place, and of course that uh, leads me to believe that he deserves a ranking of uh, third place. And uh, it would have been very interesting, at least for me anyway, to have had Argo there uh, participate in the 2019, and God only knows where he would have placed. Something tells me that he would have done very well again, and I'm only hoping to hope. I'm only hoping that maybe Argo there can participate at the 2020 uh, bloodbath. I def he's definitely he's got the chops. He's definitely got the talent, the skill set to be able to perform just as good as he did uh, during the 2018 bloodbath. Okay, so um, number two ranking of best performers in the uh bloodbath okay and this is a tie okay uh, two again two gentlemen one of whom is a very very well known um uh, uh youtuber okay cr who creates excellent content okay uh, i love uh watching his videos okay and he has gained or earned the title of the bloodbath uh one of them has earned the title of the bloodbath ambassador okay and that is G.I. Joe, okay, G.I. Joe has definitely earned that spot, and I can tell you that he went from being, in my opinion, and no insult, Joe, I'm sure you're watching this video, you went from being a rookie startup player to a bloodbath champion, okay, because you, uh, last year during the 2019 uh, bloodbath, you uh, won the event alongside your a uh, very, very formidable uh, ally or partner or gargantua. Okay, so of course the the uh, this this you know ranking is well deserved, I think, and uh, you definitely deserve to share that title of uh, second ranked with VK Cowboy, my good friend VK Cowboy, who is man, I tell you, one of the toughest players that you can play. Uh, Cowboy is very, very resourceful. Is very spunky. And uh, he's got the, uh, the the call sign or the handle of Cowboy, VK Cowboy, for a reason. Because he, he can definitely uh, spice things up. He's got that uh, Cowboy uh, attitude and swagger about him that I love so much about my good friend, uh, Cowboy. So those are the top two uh, ranked uh, uh, placements for uh, uh, the BBR. Okay. All right. So the number one. Okay. Who may that be? I think some of you may already know, and uh, you're probably guessing or not guessing, but uh, coming to the logical conclusion that the number one ranked player, in my opinion, according to the garrison, okay, is Gargantua. Okay, yes, Gargantua is the number one ranked player, 
And the reason for that is because he won the 2020, okay, uh, I'm sorry, the 2019 bloodbath. And not only that, but, okay, Gargantua also won the YG Invitational, okay? So that uh, leads me to believe that right now he is the number one ranked player in the uh, uh, bloodbath, okay? He's a very formidable player, very fierce and not only does he have it all, does he does he know strategy, does he know tactics, but he's just a tricky, very wily, very witty player who uh, can if you if you fall asleep on uh, on Gargantua, he'll take the the minutest error on your part and turn that against you, and he'll make you pay dearly for that. Okay, and uh, he has some very interesting strategies, and uh, in my opinion, he is and should be ranked the number one player at the uh bloodbath okay now again let me uh uh just uh a disclaimer here just because i have uh ranked uh these gentlemen uh does not mean that they are the best players okay it just means that they are the uh the the best performers in the bloodbath okay because out there in the community i'm sure there there are other very highly talented individuals who will perform very well if they participate in the bloodbath but to be ranked you have to participate okay and that's something that that uh some gentlemen unfortunately like carl seven and a few others have not done so i urge you guys those of you out there in the community that think you have you you could do better i urge you come and play come and participate at the bloodbath okay and uh make sure you register in time because the, you know there's only a limited number of seats and uh i suggest that uh you you get on that right away okay uh all right, so what am I forgetting to mention? And I hate this thing with my glasses on and off. It's just kicking my ass, to be honest, but uh, I, I, I need them, unfortunately. Uh, my eyesight definitely is getting worse. Um, okay, so I already mentioned that I plan to attend the 2020, uh, y, 2021 YG Invitational. Uh, YG, I, um, I have not yet registered to your event, but I will be doing so shortly. I plan to be there. Uh, I would not miss it for the world. You are one of those, uh, you, you are probably, you and Sired are probably the, the two outstanding figures in the community that have promoted this game. And I will, I know for a fact that you love to just put up a great show, a great event, and you don't miss anything. You think about everything. And I, I'm just thinking of the uh, 20, uh, uh, was it 17 or 2018 uh, YG Invitational where you just, uh, hosted a, a, an absolutely amazing event and I give you props for that or you know and, and I think that the 2021 YG Invitational man that's going to be out, outstanding also so because I know that you don't leave anything uh, 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 uncovered you, you you definitely do a very good job so I look forward to participating and I'll be registering so include me in brother um, all right so what uh, else here um just a few names I got to mention, uh, Matt Todd, okay, my brother Matt, uh, thank you so much for what you do for the community as well. I know you've been Sire Blood's uh, uh, right-hand man uh, recently. I know that you helped him produce his card deck, and uh, thank you for giving me the, mat, uh, the, the file for his card deck. I, it's going to come in handy because I'm going to need him for my own event this coming August, so thank you uh, for... Uh, doing that all right and uh, also another name that I have to mention is Lieutenant Dan now Lieutenant Dan is uh, very close by to uh, G.I. Joe uh, Lieutenant Dan is uh, uh, produced and I not produced I would say he has done a lot of research and has uh, enhanced the Sire Bloodbath uh, Sire uh, the Bloodbath map okay he's uh, he's done a lot of research where he's included annotations on the map where major major battles were fought in the Pacific and where um, uh, ships, he's actually annotated where ship losses uh, took place on the map. Very small print on the map. And I think that's just a, a map enhancer. And anytime that you do something like that, it just makes the, 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 the play experience uh, so much better. Uh, it's just one more customization that introduces reality to the game experience and you know i'm you guys that know me know that I'm, I'm about improving and enhancing the game experience okay so so 
power, power to you, brother. Uh, I got to mention that you did an excellent job. I know it took countless hours to do the research. And I know that Sired uh, himself uh, is very grateful uh, for your very for your hard work and dedication. Uh, I'm going to be printing that map and I'm going to be using it here at my own event this coming August. Uh, all right. So what else? Um, I think I should mention also that War Torn came up with uh, you guys who know War Torn. You know that he created his own uh, uh, flight stands that he had for sale. And I think he's producing them again. Could be wrong on that, but I think he's producing flight stands. But he also came up with a, a flight stand uh, a depository kit. It's just a, a square box with depository, uh, with, with indentations where you could place uh, your, your uh, uh, flight stands that he has created. So I suggest that you guys uh, uh, do that. Check his channel. Uh, it's a great innovation and it's a game enhancer and uh, something that is worth looking into. All right, so what else? Um, I'm sure I'm forgetting a few things. I always, every time I make a video, I forget something. Uh, but in any case, guys, pretty much that's what I have for now for you guys. Uh, I, I, I hope that uh, that you guys continue uh, supporting the communities, continue supporting this channel, even though my I haven't been really making that many uh, episodes. But uh, uh, I hope you guys enjoy the content and that if you haven't already done so, please uh, subscribe, hit the like button, and also make commentaries. Uh, I don't get to all of them, but I always try to get to as many commentaries as I possibly can. All right, so um, I am uh, forgetting something. I know what it, uh, I know I'm forgetting something. In any case, guys, uh, oh, yeah. Let me know what your opinion is regarding uh, my, my uh, ranking. Is it justified, isn't justified? Who do you think should have been there? Okay, uh, uh, just be in, in the process of, uh, of uh, making your commentaries. As always, Please don't forget to be respectful in your commentaries. I, 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 I always attempt to be respectful uh, when I make a video. So, and you guys have been good at that by the most part. Uh, just uh, give your opinions in a respectful uh, manner, please. Okay, so I look forward to hearing what your commentaries are. All right, so guys, as always, uh, thanks uh, for watching and until the next time.